Well, to be very frank with you, uh, I think that we Americans, uh, having come through uh, a very provocative learning experience called the Civil Rights Movement, and we Americans uh, who are the descendants of the, um, the institution of slavery, we have a special sensitivity about this that perhaps uh, maybe the Dutch people uh, could appreciate. Uh, I did a little um, reading on this what uh, Pete or Black Pete, and as I understand it, this is about some uh, um, cinder class um, character some European uh, character playing Santa Claus uh, arriving in um, the Netherlands and along with him he has a group of black baboons, buffoons uh, <clears throat> and he's traveling and talking with them and they are being depicted as uh, fairly ignorant, comical uh, characters following this uh, white cinder class and as I understood, understand it, the Dutch people uh, in their festivities, meaning no harm, uh, sort of have adopted to this menagerie uh, in a very uh, comical um, festival um, type of way. And so to most people who have grown up with this in the Netherlands, they probably feel it harmless, comical, entertaining. But I think they should probably uh, try to switch seats and have some empathy. And to be very frank, uh, I am a bit um, taken back, surprised. Um, in fact, a bit saddened, disappointed that a country with the reputation of being anti-racist and being sensitive to other ethnic groups and being multi-religious and tolerant in their behavior towards other people's religion and ethnic backgrounds, that they would even tolerate something such is this that is senseless and demeaning. Um, in fact, if I would want to give a characterization, uh, a social, political, um, moral characterization to what I understand this festival to be about, uh, I think it is a protraction of racial degradation. Um, which is both immoral and unethical. And I think that anyone uh, in Holland that really takes a good look at this and sits down with people who themselves are uh, Afro-European, uh, Afro-Dutch, black people, and see how they feel about this kind of depiction. Uh, I think that afterwards, uh, in all fairness uh, and uh, human um, empathy and feeling I think it should be abolished I mean why would we continue to have a festivity like that and why would somebody even argue to sustain a festivity like that if they knew that it was harmful and insulting and demeaning to other human beings uh, who have as much human status as those who are enjoying it uh, for instance, uh, suppose we were to just create another scenario like that and some German Santa Claus, you see, came to Holland and he had with him some, um, some Jewish uh, buffoons, clowns who were being depicted as being silly and uneducated and uh, 
uh, and he was uh, interacting with them in the same way and and the people was to make a festival around that around the time of Yom Kippur you see how would German how would Jewish people feel about that and let's make another scenario uh, suppose some kind of superfly you know um, pimp type character uh, uh, was depicted as Santa Claus and he came to Holland and he had a bunch of white women acting like buffoons dressed in bikinis uh, and he was interacting with them in such a way to make them demeaning so here's a black pimp type guy um, characterizing white women as prostitutes and he was whipping them and they were following him and dancing and how would uh, white people in Holland how would they feel about that and let's make another scenario uh, how about if we were to take um, some uh, Moorish black guy uh, or some some Arab guy uh, looking like he was like sort of like turbaned and he was a sultan or something like that and he had a group of women with him that looked like the queen of Holland but they was dressed like that then of course it's not the queen but like it's like the queen's children or something and he was uh, uh, demeaning them and they were looking uh, like the same way how would the people of Holland feel about that they would be insulted because the queen should be respected these uh, Jewish people should be respected you see um, these white women uh, of Holland should be respected but then I think that the black people in this country and black people in Europe and black people around the world should be respected and this kind of depiction or scenario was done in America they would burn them somebody would hold a public gathering and uh, they would burn him they would stone him they would run him out of town and uh, no one would tolerate that in america in fact in america if somebody did that they'd be locked up so holland being a very complex sensitive sophisticated country when it comes to human rights in fact here in holland we give to animals rights that are guaranteed and sophisticated so how in the world can people take a day and enjoy themselves and have festivities when they know that this is demeaning to African, European, Afro, Holland, Holland people? And if you just ask, just take the time to walk through Holland and ask black people from anywhere in the world how they would feel about that. I think that would be enough. Uh, we should probably make a move to have a public discussion about that and subsequently we should abolish it. That's what I think.